Yeah, I do. That's, that's why I escorted them, um, because we need people. That's the hunter setting off. So now we are almost bringing enough food in to keep us going. What's interesting, I don't think we need to fully man the cookhouse. I think we can get away with um, taking some people off that. And they can just kind of, you know, work through the raw food that gets brought in. A couple of them can do it, I think. So yeah, it's kind of like a exploration management survival game. But the decisions you make will... Uh, Will, will will affect your chances of survival in a big way. <laughs> have you seen the film The Colony? I think I have, but I can't remember it very well. Right, so there's two people in that. That's fully stocked. Don't think we have enough wood to do what I want to do yet, which is this. Need 50 wood for that. Um, let's see. Children cared for, hope rises. People can work without worrying that something will happen to their kids. There you go. So that put our little hope up a little bit. And it also has the wonderful advantage that people can now, the kids can now boost the workshop. Good voice, sir. Squirrel should do voiceovers. Lol. <laughs> Right, so right now we're not collecting steel. We are collecting wood. Uh, in terms of... We're currently pulling in 192 a day, which is pretty good. But we need to get some steel. However, sending people to work in this temperature is not a good idea. Scouts have returned safely. You can disband the scouts at the beacon or send them back out to Frost, to Frostland. So now we've just got an increased population, which means that we don't have any tents for them. So it's not the best timing. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other uh, settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us finding our footing. We will look for others. I don't know how they get down Foxy. I think they just get a rope down there. So now we need to tell our scout to do something else. So when, because he's unlocked this one, he's now unlocked two more. Now, had we told him to carry on, he'd probably be already there by now. Um, gloomy cave or the sturdy shelter. Or the observer observatory. It's got a shelter. It'll probably bring some supplies with it. There are no vicious beasts in the game, legit Robert. It's too cold. Let's pause it a second. So now we have this problem. We've now got loads of people. So we can set them all to work, which is great. But on the other hand... We don't have enough homes for them, so they're going to get pretty ill fairly quickly. Uh, Aliki, have a good one. Now, the issue is the heater only heats this much. What we need is to expand the heating radius. But to do that, we need level 2 tech, which is this one here. And then we can get a range upgrade. So for now, we'll have to use buildings and just heat them. So we're not getting any steel.
So the bunkhouse will provide one level of heating. The weather's about to get warmer in today's time, so we could survive for a little while. But I think we need a steel walk. Otherwise we won't have enough materials to build with. Research knitted scarves and, and fetching pullovers. <laughs> Our people found a trail leading to the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them to help secure our survival. We've already done that. Right, so let's fill up our workers now so we can max out the hunting food. The other thing is we're not bringing in enough food now because we've got more people. So we need another... Um, We need another hunter. Tent. I don't really want to send people out in this weather. It's a bit of a problem. Yeah, I mean, we can build a steam hub here. Yeah. It might be the way to go. I think that's what I did last time, if I remember. The steam hub can really help out a lot. There's a steam hub build on a street. I can't remember. I think it does. I wish you could queue things up in this. Yeah, we'll go steel work, and then we'll go steam hub, and then we'll go uh, coal thumper, and level two. Just temperature less so we can actually get people working outside too gravely ill we're gonna need a cemetery it's not good people are gonna die shortly Get to work, people. There's plenty to do. Why are people hungry? I think they may be... They get hungry. Either the AI derps or it's something to do with the street not being built. These guys on a 24 hour shift. <laughs> 16 homeless being sorted out. Two sick, should be treated. Is the med bay full? Yeah. Food. 
Uh, Fee 5 Hope Bum, 8 months, thank you. Stubbot Volvo, thanks for keeping me upbeat with the top quality content, especially at the moment my grandfather is on his way out, so to speak. Uh, your content, the fact I've got another cosplay on the go, are keeping me happy. Sorry to hear that, Stubbot. Thank you for 7 months. Wow, look at all the snow. Like, it's literally buried the houses. Blimey. Steelworks have been researched, that's good. Because now we can build, we have the resources. All these things. Is Charlie coming on later? Was that invalid? Oh, I remember. I remember. You have to build it on one of these things. There's only two of them. Snow is good, it should protect from the cold. Uh, you see your ETS2, your settings maxed out. I got GTX 1080, use Pro Mods. Some areas you get 40 FPS artists. It depends what area you go to, some areas you do. We just wanted to say thank you. Back in London, it was only the wealthy that didn't have to send their kids to work. In this new world you're creating, we can see things be different. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, we did something right. Right, so that's them employed in there. We'll get some more employed in here when it's ready. <laughs> Warning, some nuts are frozen. <laughs> okay, it's a quick save. So look, all my save games are gone. It's so annoying. Um, I don't have it maxed out, Arters. I have them fairly high, but there are places where the frames will drop. Barcelona's a classic one. Okay, now, given the fact we're probably going to have people dying soon, I'm thinking about the cemetery. Hope will rise. No risk from disease from unburied borrowers. Each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours. You will have to establish a cemetery. Last time I went for corpse disposal and it didn't work out very well. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. <laughs> so if you're into the whole thing of digging people up and reanimating them, then it could be good. Actually, I seem to remember what happens is uh, you get the option later to cut them up and use them for food. Which is just... The idea of that is horrendous. So I might go down the cemetery path. Although soup might be a good thing to have right now. It depends if people are going to die in the next 24 hours. Eating soup will cause discontent. I think we're okay for food, but I've got a feeling people might die any minute, and I don't want to be caught out without a cemetery. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. New law is signed. Right. Let's get the steam up on the go now. There doesn't appear to be a cremation option, which I kind of find is a bit weird. Like, traditionally... Bodies were burnt for the very reason to not spread disease. I can't believe they don't let you burn them. I mean, you could throw them into the generator, couldn't you? 
And I'm just saying. Welcome back. Not the workers are taking a while to get... I like, I like how the workers built a road. And then these guys just walk down through the snow to build it. Genius. Bobcat, welcome back. There you go. One of our people died. Our first death. I'm already working on it. It's uncanny, that. It's almost like I predicted it. Okay, so. Cemetery. Um, does it matter where you build this thing? Because I'm kind of thinking about you know, down here, maybe. Don't want to build it here because there's potentially some wood there. But you know, right in front of the steelwork seems like a good plan. Kind of. I mean, if they're dead, they're not going to hear it, are they? They're not going to hear the steelwork. They're not going to start shouting, can you turn it down? Six pack. I've got a Synology NAS drive. They're absolutely awesome. The software on a Synology NAS drive is, is just great. They're really good. They just integrate with anything. Happy anniversary. Thank you for 37 months, Bobcat. Search for others. Find another settlement. Provide a place to rest, which is what we're doing. Right, we can get 10 people to work in here now. Happy anniversary, Nata. Can definitely work overtime. Now, this isn't like the thumper. I don't need to get people to gather it, do I? Hope rises. Cemeteries online. You couldn't find anything else big enough. Are you kidding me? Synology, Synology make ridiculous NAS drives. As soon as this is done, we need to go tear down well I thought it was hooked up but it's kind of making me think it's not oh it must be up here ah there's the problem Oh, hello. One person sick. Five are being treated. Right, so the scouts managed to reach the other shelter. The search may provide steam cores, food rations and wood. The trail leads to another city. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. There's a notice posted on the heavy round door. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon return to the city. This means there's another city out there. 
the signpost by the trail points in two directions. London, 1,934 miles. Home, 27. Sites discovered. Steel bridge. Take resources. One steel core, 104 food. That's actual food, not raw food. And 236 wood. So a steam core... A steam core is one of those things that you can't create yourself. And they're used to power things like an automaton and some buildings. So they're a pretty important resource. Like if you want to build a steel mine, uh, a coal mine, you need a um, you need a uh, steam core. I never bother with it, Toddo. Now here's the thing. The scouts have those resources on them, but. To get them back to your city, you'd have to take another expedition back. So right now, instead of going back, I'm going to push on to the steel bridge, or we could go to the gloomy cave and then back. It's kind of up to you. It'll only take 13 hours to get there. Happy anniversary, it would take 19 to get there. on to steel. Yeah, I think the steel bridge is where you get the automaton, isn't it? Yeah. Kiron, two years, dude. Golden acorn is mine. Happy belated birthday. Thank you for the great work. Whoops. Kiron, thank you for 24 months. Happy anniversary. I'm just going to pause this a second. I need to nip to the bathroom. Be right back. You know, it's eight o'clock and outside it's like almost daylight. It's not. Like you can see in full colour, eight PM. Five five four three YT seven K J L Thank you very much for subbing. Thank you for your support. Sorry I think I stepped out there. But welcome to Nails 5543. Okay, let's fast forward to the next day. Okay, the level is about to get warmer now, so we can turn off some heating in a minute. Because we're, we're burning through coal now. Because we're not really gathering any coal. But we should be able to go and gather more coal. I know what then, don't I? It's 8pm, dude. It's 9pm for you. <sighs> I 
Well, it's not busy doing their thing. Steel starting to come in. Of course, at the end of the 24 hour shift, they'll probably turn around and say, oh, we need a break. There you go. So it just got one level warmer. So these houses here are a problem. You can almost build a steam hub. But we're going to have to go and get some coal. Time to earn your bread. Our coal resources have been depleted at a rapid rate of knots right now. That's going to get us 100 coal per day, but we're burning through way more than that with all the heaters and stuff. So yeah, we need a thumper. Quickly. Steam hub researched. then at least the workers won't be outdoors working. 27 Celsius, Benjamin. In the desert, where are you? The problem is this thing's at capacity right now. The illness is being caused by this. burn through more coal but stop people getting ill what I don't get is how the how is it the hunters are able to go out hunting for food in extreme temperatures and they don't get ill So we could do ceremonial funerals. Those who give their lives in service to the city deserve the highest honor. We will give our dead ceremonial funerals to inspire the living. Loss of hope caused by deaths is halved. That sounds like it's uh, a plan with no drawbacks. Yeah, the scouts are pretty amazing as well. Yeah, but you could argue that the people digging coal up outside, they're always working. They're keeping warm, but they still get ill. If they work in a cold place, they get ill. I like that. They open up tauntauns, right? <laughs> Bless you, each of our fallen must be honoured. Our dead ones deserve no less. See, that's a plan with no drawbacks. Nobody tweeted out anything negative then. This'll help stop people getting ill. So the next cold spell happens in three days' time. So by then I want to have like a thumper and stuff. A good amount of coal. So we can put the heating on properly, but we need to be on level 2 tech really. So we'll get this and we'll start work on the next tech level. These guys are going to stop gathering wood pretty soon though. Because that's going to be annoying. He's going to be one hour 
until he gets the next thing. So we'll probably send him back and bring all the supplies back with him. It's funny you should say that, say that, JJ, but the people who built this game also built this war of mine. There you go, so that's now heating that, but it means we're now burning through even more coal. The coal will last for 19 hours. That's not good. That's really not good. Right, the scouts have reached the uh, steel bridge. Uh, a brass plaque on the bridge reads, Built by the people of Winterhome in AD 1887, the bridge is kept completely snow-free by a working automaton. First time I saw that, I was like, Ooh la, because it just looks like War of the Worlds. Stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, Marvin gets a steel bridge spanning it. Even more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city and disassemble it for resources. Uh, let's just send it back and keep it. We reprogrammed the automaton and sent it on its way. As it disappeared into the distance, walking steadily towards our city, the first wisp of snow started to settle on the bridge. So, our scout has a steam core, 100 food, and 200 wood. We could push on to a large convoy or the weather station. A large convoy. That sounds like people and resources to me. I think we'll do that. We need more people. Mrs. Squirrel's texting me. Um, right, that's that done. Deserted bridge. Finding the bridge to Windsor Home proved that we're on the right track, but raise a question. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to all, but people are growing anxious. We'll find out in Winterhome. Okay, so we have a coal problem. Let's get the thumper online. The thumper can pretty much go anywhere, can't it? Then we'll divert people from getting coal to this thing. We also have to have people to gather it as well. And if we're lucky, we can do it before we run out of coal. Otherwise, we'll have to take people off some of the jobs and get more coal. No! Aye, 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 aye. 
do it well for food. We could perhaps. Perhaps divert some people off this. We're actually gaining food at the moment, but slowly. So we're just about okay on that. Uh, befuddled flip flop. <laughs> a, be <laughs> a belated birthday gift from myself and Jeff Bezos. Lol. Thank you, befuddled flip flop. <laughs> Thank you, Triple. So the thumper basically extracts coal, but it puts it into, um, like, big piles outside. And then you need to get people to collect it and bring it over to the uh, stockpile. But what you can also do is you can build a stockpile next to it, and then they don't have far to go. Resource depot. Extends our storage capacity of the chosen resource. 40 wood with 20 steel, we can afford that. Our, our burial ceremony is starting at, this, at the cemetery. Wait, what? When our people die, burial ceremonies ease people's grief. Buried citizens too. Wow, it's actually keeping track of them. I think we need a gathering post, don't we? People working here gather resources from nearby coal piles, wood crates, and steel wreckage. Wait, does anybody know how this works? When you thump coal, you have to gather it. If you build a resource depot next to it, will they just move it into here? Rather than walk all the way back with it, or does it not matter? Lord Doll of the Shires here. Oh god, that why can't you bring him before he goes out? Instead of bringing him when he's soaking wet. Oh my god, you're disgusting. Oh not his feeling. Oh god, he just stinks. It's like horrible damp dog smell. Come here boy. Let's try and cover you up. Come here. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> Look how wet he is. Oh, the wet dog indeed. I can feel his wet paws on my leg. He came straight in today. Eh? He came straight in today. You what? He came straight in today. He came straight in. He was excited. You know why? He wants them cheesy bites, <laughs> that's why. It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> Who's this? Lord Doyle of the Wet Dogshire. Macko hype. Do you know, sometimes I wish 4D streaming existed and then you could smell this. <laughs> People are saying hi, Mr. Squirrel. Soggy doggy indeed. Nice nails, Mrs. Squirrel. Oh, thank you for, point, for not to sink. <laughs> oh, somebody spotted it. Somebody I got spotted my toes it. Done as well. <laughs> yeah, she had her toenails done as well. That was the most horrific experience in my life. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, do yeah. people touching my feet. Horrible. Jules says hello, Mrs. Squirrel. It's a dull schmack a lot. Do I have a long, long left brow? 
You don't smell that badly. Don't I, y'all? Don't be me. Yeah, the top, the top conscious. side of him is dry because it's obviously not been raining, but his paws are wet and smelly. Just <laughs> ran through the grass. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, this is it. That's what dogs do. That's right. I think you've had enough there, pal. Say bye bye. See you tomorrow. Sunday night trucking. Yo. Yo. Sunday night trucking. Yo. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> See you there. Ah. Thank you for popping in, wet dog. That was a pleasure. Oh God. Huh? <laughs> Off he goes. Letting everybody know he's here. So we need a couple of gathering posts nearby, I guess. That's going to destroy. I wish it told you how much that would destroy. Right, so two gathering posts to one thump here. Right, now I need to divert some resources. So we'll take all of them off that. And we'll put them all in here. And then at least they can work in relative comfort. Don't need to put the heating on that. <laughs> Funky monkey, I'm pretty certain that you're not allowed to show bare feet on Steam. On, on Twitch. Because, you know, that's a thing for some people. So Twitch doesn't allow it. Later with the steam dump, you need four posts. A steam dump? Oh, you mean when you've got the upgraded version, yeah. Right, what are we researching next? Can we get that yet? Yeah. Let's do it. So where can we see what kind of a boost we're getting on research from the kids on that workshop? It doesn't give us any numbers, does it? Not really, James. How do you... He doesn't have feet, he has paws. <laughs> gotcha. What are we gathering so far then? Okay, so the coal is nearly rip. Hundred wood per day. That seems low. Good night, Mrs. Frosty. Cold thumper. Wash coal from cracks in the rock to the surface. You can order people to gather the coal from the piles directly or employ them in gathering posts. More than one gathering post might be needed to collect all of the coal efficiently. 40 coal per hour. Place them so the coal thumper piles are in range. Now this has got me thinking, if people are working at the... Yeah, hang on a sec. So these have to be heated as well, don't they? It's kind of making me feel that it would be better to put one... How do you calculate whether it's better to use one thumper or have all these buildings heated individually? 
Like, what can you... Like, one, two, three, four... Six built... Is that... No, five buildings I've got heated. I could put one thumper here. But is that going to be more efficient or less efficient? Like, how much coal is that burning? Having that on. One coal per hour. Right, so that's six... That's five coal per hour. Oops. And this is burning... Oh, that's interesting. Didn't know you could tell it when to be on. Mm hmm. Rain setting, not researched yet. Because they don't live in the tents during the day, do they? sucks. You can't actually have it on just overnight. Yeah, you can't build a coal mine yet. The heater will stack with your steam up. Yeah, I, I realise that, but right now, TennisCon, what I want to know is is it more efficient on coal to have this? One second, if I go to... Here, consumption. There you go. Steam hub, 72 per day. Oh my god. Wait a sec. 72 per day. One per hour. Yeah, you see, look, straight away. That's 24 there. And I've got five buildings. Yeah? So I've got five times 24. That's how much coal we're using. Whereas that can do the same thing for 72 so it is more efficient so as soon as you've got more than three buildings in range you're better with one of them in terms of just exchange yeah you're better with one of them so we can save some stuff that way we can have one of these down here Can build that there and turn all the heating off. I uh, later on will need it, but not now. So that's still pretty chilly down there, isn't it? So they're going to need a steam hub. Because when the temperature drops, they won't survive. Unless we get the automaton to do that. Which is another option. But right now, we need to have people working here. Are you kidding me? No gatherable resources in range? Are you serious? Surely that's in range. How could that not be in range? the buildings only heat up during working hours Martin yeah but you could set the steam hub to do the same thing you can tell this to only heat up during working day so it's the same thing but it kind of implies because it doesn't let you um, it doesn't let you heat these during non-working hours it kind of implies that you have to heat homes 24 hours Okay, let's see what happens with that. I've, I've 
drop down on the amount of people getting food. We need another med bay. We've got seven people sick now. And five are already being treated. We don't have the staff for this. It's not good. We're about to run out of coal. They really need to start thumping pretty darn quickly. Get on with it, bro. So we'll just turn that off, off and just have the thumper. In fact, that building, that child shelter, very well insulated. Okay, large convoy has arrived. The convoy is carrying workers that got lost in the blizzard. They are weak and have no provisions. We should listen to their story and escort them to our city. They saw Winterholm. The workers were riding in this convoy told us they were heading for the city of Winterholm. We are supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up, they say. We tried to follow a search pattern to find it, but we ran out of fuel. Escort the survivors to the city, send them to the city, leave them to their fate. <laughs> um, I think we'll escort them this time because we've already got stuff. So we need to bring back 19 engineers and 26 workers. Well, that's what I was saying, Captain Flynn. I don't, I don't know if that's going to make people ill right now. So I think once we get these people back, we'll create a second scout, because we'll have a surplus of people. We're just about, just about got the wood going, but we need more wood, more wood, the coal. We need more coal than that, though. Because if we need to go to overdrive or something, this isn't enough. So we kind of need another thumper. Coal will last for four hours. You want me? <laughs> I think we may have to chuck some people on 24 hour shift. At the moment, they're doing okay. So the coal resources are kind of hovering around, but slightly increasing. Demand exactly matches supply. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna put another thumper down, but I'm gonna wait till those people get back. We just we don't have the workers for it. It's as pointless. We need to get some resources built up here. Look at this light here, just digging through the snow, getting trees. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah, people yeah. are sick, five being treated. 
it's just at the moment it's on the balance but as soon as that temperature drop comes in we're in trouble uh, the scout party are going to take 15 hours to get back and the 20 hours until we get the automaton back so in 14 hours time we're going to have to house another what's that 26 45 people so we need another 5 tents down here we've got the wood for it Drawing boards researched. Right. So now we've unlocked the next tech level. Do you smoke the hash, big man? DJ, are you new to my channel, bro? I suspect you are. David Mullen, 45. All right, big man. Hmm. Would you recommend this game? Do you think hash should be legalized in the UK? Gee. Gee, that's, that's uncanny. I get called big man by DJ Davros and asked if I smoke hash and then I get a delivery from David Mullen calling me big man saying do you think hash should be legalized just it's an amazing coincidence you couldn't I mean I kind of like hash browns they're okay my Mrs. Squall much prefers hash browns than I do so I normally give her my hash brown and she'll swap me for a bacon or something like that that's normally how it goes but thanks for asking. Coal mining. We can do without that initially. The sawmill upgrade will raise the efficiency of sawmills and steam sawmills by 25%. It's quite a nice thing to have. Oh, corned beef hash is amazing as well. You, you should try corned beef hash. It's so good. The wall drill. We don't need that yet. Charcoal kiln was basically convert wood into coal, which can be useful later. Ash browns are good with ketchup. <laughs> uh, faster gathering, 15% boost. Let's see, exploration, more scouts. Oh yeah, you need that before you can get any more scouts, don't you? Now the generator upgrade allows us to raise the temperature in all heat zones by one level. Generator range upgrade. The bunkhouse might be a good thing to get. Med post upgrade. Thanks to improved tools and methods, people employed in medical parts will heal the sick 10% faster. That just seems so lame. 10% is nothing. You like a hashtag, do you? Hashtags are okay. You just doing a survey around Twitch? Sounds good. Uh, hothouse. Uh, a few hardy crops can be grown here, supplying 30 raw food. Oh yeah, they were good. The problem with them, like they're really good for supplying food. The problem with them is they require a steam core to do, to build one. But they, they are fantastic, they are. I'm beginning to think bunkhouses might be a good plan. Because when the temperature drops, that extra layer will help. That's not really worth having. Wait, when it says heat zones, does that also include the steam thumper? Does anybody know? See, Barrack. It does, right, okay. 
So at some point that's going to be needed, but not yet, I don't think. That upgrade's going to definitely help. When it gets cold. Maybe for now, though, we're a bit resource shy, so anything that can bring more resource in is probably a better plan. But that one's only for gathering the resources on the ground, isn't it? That's not for the buildings. Let's get that. It's instantly 25% more wood. Right, 13 hours till the people arrive, 18 hours till the automaton arrives. I'm going to stick the automaton on that thing. This we can heat. That we don't have to heat if you have an automaton doing it. Although if you put a thumper nearby, he kind of refuels, recharges on it, I remember. The other thing we could do is, like, there's a bunch of resources here. You could slap a thumper down there and then just have people gather all that. And then they could work in it and not get ill. You want the wall drill for loads of wood? Yeah, we're not we're not that desperate just yet. We've got a lot of wood lying around, but thinking we just build a street into the middle of that lot, slap a thumper down, you can gather all that with all these people that turn up. Steam hubs have their own upgrades. Well, we'll find out when we get the uh, upgrade later. How's the coal doing? The coal is at break even. Okay, so we're now losing food because I took some people off that, but that's fine. We'll get some people back shortly. Everybody's got a bed. Vacant bed's 36, but we're building more. Steel gain is okay. Wood gain could be a lot better. Steam hub up upgrades for the range and efficiency. I think when these people arrive as well, we'll probably be able to get away with another workshop. Maybe and sneak it in there. Just about to get caught by the heating off that. I don't know, Vardinator. I'll let you know tomorrow when I've worked it out myself. <laughs> the energy level is affected by the tower. Gen power upgrade applies to hubs as well, and faster gathering applies to output of coal thumpers. Oh, right, because it wasn't clear that it applied to that. I did wonder about that. We have one steam course. So when we get a coal mine... Of course, the other thing we can do is build a hot house. That'll stay empty for now. Those, those workshops are pretty well insulated. 